Hello everyone, my name is Bmark and today I'll be showing you how to play Pokemon Legends ZA on your PC. Now this will be using the Eden emulator. So yeah, let's get started with this video now. So now open any of your browser and type here Eden emulator as you can see. And the first result that you see call Eden, open it up. So this is the current Nintendo Switch emulator, click on download. And there are download links for different platforms. So you have for Windows, for Mac OS, for Android. I'm just going to click on download for Windows. So after clicking on the download link, you will be redirected to Eden's GitHub page where you will see the latest version. So currently this is Eden 0.0.3. And I'm just going to scroll down, scroll down. And you will see different links for different platforms so we have for linux for windows for android and i'm just gonna download from windows so i'm just gonna click on this and download the emulator as you can see download has been completed for eden emulator so i have downloaded the eden emulator as you can see and this is a zip file so i'm just gonna use 7zip to extract it right here i'm just gonna right click on it 7-zip extract it here and as you can see this is the extracted emulator after the extraction is done you see a file called eden.exe just open it up for the very first time when you open it up you will see a error that says keys are missing now to fix this i actually have provided a complete guide on how to set up this Eden emulator I will put a link in the i button right now and also put a link in the description below which you can check it to fix this issue all right so next is how do you get the game well if you want to get the game just dump it from your own Nintendo switch and play it on the emulator also there is some other ways obviously you can opt in the game but well i'm not gonna provide any kind of link or walk through in this video else nintendo will just take this video down so yeah just dump it from your own nintendo switch and play it on the emulator so after you have provided the proper keys the emulator will open up normally well now it's time to add the game now as you can see it says here double click to add in your folder so i'm just gonna double click here and add my game folder so here is the folder that has all my switch games in it i have named it switch games so this folder actually has all the games i'm just going to click on select folder and as soon as i selected that all my nintendo switch games appear as you can see pokemon legends za also appears all right so the next is we have to change some setting now i'm not going to go over all of the settings i'll just go over some very few important ones if you want to check about all the settings all the details again as i said i have made a full guide on this eden emulator i'll put a link in the description below so you can check that out all right so if you want to change the settings you go to emulation go to configure and this is where you will change the settings now I'm going to quickly go over the settings so feel free to pause the video wherever you want and copy the settings that I have applied. Now on the graphics tab make sure this device is set to your most powerful GPU so this is my GPU that is selected right now. And for API, if you're on a AMD or a Intel GPU, you have to use Vulkan. Vulkan actually works well best for AMD or Intel GPU. If you're on a Nvidia GPU, you can use Vulkan or OpenGL. It just choice is up to you. And then just copy these settings. Resolution, if you are on a very high-end GPU, you can use 3x, 2x, or so play on 1440p or 4k, else just keep it at 1x. Wind adaptive filtering, which is basically a sharpening filter, just keep it on FSR. And for FSR sharpness, so this is how much sharpness you want, just keep it as some kind of value. Now on the advanced tab, just copy these settings. And on the extensions, just keep it how it is. Now for the audio tab, just keep it how it is. And we're just going to move to the controls now. 
all right now for controls you can actually select different type of controller like we have pro controller dual joy con handheld right joy con etc i'm just gonna keep it at pro controller if you're playing on keyboard you can just click on keyboard and all the buttons will be configured to your keyboard you can just click on any of the button it says waiting and you can map it to any kind of different button Now, if you have connected a controller like i have a xbox one controller connected i'm just going to click here click on this xbox one controller and as you can see all the buttons will be mapped automatically to that controller if you want to keep the vibration on you can click on here you can also simulate the docked and handled feature that the switch has in this option so you have docked or handheld all right so finally let's just start the game now now before starting the game i will actually completely blur the screen or else nintendo might just take this video down so yeah but you might still be able to tell at least that the game is running when you start the game up you might see this warning for now just ignore it i'm just gonna click ok and the game will start up Now currently as this is a very early time, the emulator actually has a lot of problem, lot of like graphical glitches, so over time it will get fixed as more and more emulator updates come out. So that is how you can play Pokemon Legend ZA on your PC using the Eden emulator. So if you have come this far, please drop a like and subscribe to my channel. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.